Hello learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. So, we have been learning grammar a lot in this series time and tense. In this part 4 of time and tense grammar in context, we will learn present perfect continuous. You, me and with us Kriti, we will be doing present perfect continuous in context means we will first see, use, learn, then come to discover how present perfect continuous is used. Kriti, lot of grammar, do you get bored of grammar? Sometimes, sir. But what about our classes? No, oh, never. Fine, fine. They are very so, interesting. So, I, I, I take that, learners, yeah. I take that. Okay. Now, what are we going to do today? I will tell you. Let me ask you a question. What are you doing now? The, I am just uh, talking to you. What were you doing this time yesterday? Yesterday at uh, this time I was just in uh, reading something or uh, writing something. Yeah, if I am right, I was writing something. You are talking to me now. Fine. This is what you said. Hmm, yes. What is the time or tense? Okay. This is, we discussed in our class that this is present continuous. Continuous. So, it, this is in progress. Yes. So, so, Kirti, fine. Our learners, you are watching us or you are thinking about something of grammar. So, this is an action in continuation. Supposing an action which started long ago and continues still, that is what we are going to see today. Okay, sir. Okay. We need to really spell out our objectives of this particular lesson. Let us see the objectives of this lesson. Kriti will read out for us. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to understand time and tense, use present perfect continuous in context, discover the forms, present perfect continuous tense forms and use it in speech and writing appropriately. So, learners, these were the objectives. Kriti has read out to us. So, now let us get into some activities to understand present perfect continuous. Sure, sir. Let me also tell you later learners why we begin with sentences. You may be wondering why, why not teach the formula to us. No, language is not learned that way. So, Kriti, let us see the sentences, then move on to understand how the verb forms in tense time reference or explicitly said or works. Okay, fine. Look at it. Here are the sentences for you learners. Yeah, go ahead. Sure, sir. Hmm. So, let us read the following sentences. I live in Delhi now. I am a student. I have written a poem today. I have been living in this city since 2000. I have been studying in this school for the past 5 years. He has been writing the letter for about 3 hours. So long. So yeah. long, yes. Sir. <laughs> Sheila has been asking answers for her questions since last week. They have been winning matches for the last 3 years. People have been working hard for the last 3 months to complete the task. Fine. Learners, look at the sentences available to you. I live in Delhi, I am a student, I have written a poem today, I have been living in this city since 2000, I have been studying in this school for the first 3 years, he has been writing a letter for the 3, three hours. hours, Sheila has been asking Question. the questions for the last week. week, since last week, they have been winning the matches last 3 years. Look at the first three sentences learners, Kriti read out to them again. Sure sir, hmm. I live in Delhi now, I am a student, I have written a poem today. Fine, I live in Delhi is what? I am living in Delhi oh, right yes. now. Yes, means sometime. Sometime, So, yes. simple present, I am a student, yes you are describing, you are, you are a simple present, I have written a poem, poem today. today. When did you write? Today. Just. Yeah. Just. 
its effect is there. Look at the sentences from fourth sentence to ninth sentence. Learners, I have been, will you read out? Sure, sir. Hmm. I have been living in this city since 2000. Then? I have been studying in this school for the past five years. He has been writing the letter for about three hours. Sheila has been asking answers for her questions since last week. They have been winning the matches for the last three years. People have been working hard for the last three months to complete the task. Okay, look at this sentence 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th. They are still doing the work. I have been living in the city since 2000. 2000. So when did I start living? The year 2000 onwards. Am I still continuing to live? Yes. Okay, that is what present perfect tense is. So let us go ahead and do some more. Now sentences appear on your screen. Ravi has been sleeping for 5 hours and in the brackets and is still sleeping. Is he sleeping still? Yes, he is. Yes. Now, we should not ask why is he sleeping, but he is sleeping. We do not know the reason. We have to wake him up to find, find out. Huh? Okay. <laughs> they have been running since the morning. Does that mean? Yes, they are still running. Running. Okay, fine. The team has been practicing for the past four hours. Meaning? So, they, so they are practicing now. Still, as even well. now. And we do not know when they will finish. The government has been instructing people to follow the guidelines on something. So, is the government still instructing? Yes, the government is still in, uh, instructing it started, the people. It started? Uh, it started uh, a little uh, past. past. Okay. Ms. Shilpa has been teaching in our school for the first six years. So, she is still teaching in our school. Fine. Learners, when do you use Present perfect continuous. You now you must have got it. Yes. So, Kriti, when do you use present perfect continuous tense? We use present perfect continuous tense to show a action which was which has started in the past and is still going on. Fine, learners. Let, we have now discovered the rules. Present perfect continuous is used to to refer to an action which began sometime in the past and still continues. Come on, let us go back to the sentences. Akriti, you, you have to read out for the benefit of the learners. Sure, sir. In order to make them notice something. That sentence, Ravi has been, that four, four five sentences. Please okay, go sir. ahead. Go ahead. Ravi has been sleeping for five hours. Fine. How many hours? Five. For five hours. Come on. In addition to he has been sleeping, let us also underline for 5 hours. Okay. Fine. They have been running since the morning. Oh, they have been running since, since morning. Since the morning. They have been running since. Look at the adverb since. Since. Then, go ahead. The team has been practicing for the past 4 hours. For the past 4, four hours. hours. Fine. Then, next. The government has been instructing people to follow the guidelines. For some time. Okay. Then. Miss Shilpa has been teaching in our school for the past six years. Fine, all right. So this is how present perfect tense is constructed. Okay, we have said for the benefit of learners again, present perfect continuous is used to refer to an action, an action which began in the recent past or distant past, but still continues. Still continues. Suppose someone says, this country has been struggling to became a superpower was three decades. Fine, mm -hmm. yes, we have been struggling, we have been hard. This is how present perfect tense is used. Now, Kriti. Yes, sir. Let us, with the learners, let us do some more activities. I am going to read out the sentences you will have to supply when present perfect tense appears or some other tense appears. Okay, sir. Before that, uh, let us uh, do it on the board when, how this action starts and where it ends, then how you use present perfect tense. We will do it, okay? Fine. Okay, now, sir. okay. Since 2000, say 2000. Five. Five. That is 15 years, okay, from class one maybe. <laughs> I have been studying in this school since 
2010. Next sentence. She has been playing for India team for the past 7 years. Okay. Next last sentence. He has been writing letters for 3 hours. Okay. I have been studying in the school since 2010. Then uh, she has been playing for the country, uh, for the Indian team for the past 7 years. He has been writing letters for 3 hours. In all these Kriti and learners, when did the action begin? Right, uh, action began. In the past. Th let us assume that this is past, right past and C is present and let us say this is future time. Learners, the action began here in the past somewhere, then it continues till now. We do not know when it will be over. So, I have been studying in this school since 2000. I still continue to study, okay. is it? Yes, sir. Then, she has been playing for the Indian team for the past 7 years. Started 7 years ago, but continues. But it is continuing. So, so learners, let us understand in graphically, let us have a scheme, an image in the mind so that we do not forget an action which began in the past still continues. So, we use present perfect continuous to denote side. And what are the catch words? Of course, the verb form is have been studying, has been, has been, has playing. been playing, but the uh, other catch words are since. since. The adverbs for the past, past. and for, for three, three hours. hours. So, it refers to a duration Kiriti. So, past the duration began in the past and continues still now. Learners, we have demonstrated on the board with the visual image past time, present time and future time in which present perfect continues an action which began in the past and still continues. So, that is how present perfect continuous is used in natural language speech writing. So, let us remember I have been studying in this school since 2010 actually means I started in 2010 and continuing still now. So, this is how present perfect. Come on let us see some more activities. Yes. Now, let us move on to do the task. Now, the sentences appear on your screen. Our country has been or is making progress since we got our independence. Come on, select between these two. Our country has been making progress since we got our independence. Because we started from independence, independence and we are still till now and continuing. Doing. Okay, fine. She has been writing or she is writing her homework for 5 hours. She has been writing her homework for 5 hours. Okay, fine. Ashwin has been playing or is playing since the morning. Ashwin has been playing since the morning. For long. Okay. For long mm, time. Okay. Indian team has been doing or is doing well since 2010. Indian team has been doing well since 2010. And they continue to Continues do? Continues to do uh, fine. well. Good, good. It has been raining or it is raining for the first three hours. It has been raining for the past three hours. The members have been demanding or the members are demanding a meeting with the chairperson since last week. The members have been demanding a meeting with the chairperson since last week. The principal of the school has been writing or he is writing letters to the parents since last year. Principal of the school has been writing letters to the parents since last year. Fine. In all the sentences, the action began in the past. It may be recent past, distant past. Suppose the country has been making progress since independence, 1947 and it continues still. Learners, Kriti, let us do some more activity, but in an integrated manner. That means, it is not only present perfect continuous, other tense forms will be there. So, you have to read and answer yourself. Let me read out to the learners first, then complete, then you move ahead, you answer it. Okay, sir. 
Jeeva Anand is a student at the university. He studied or has studied in a village school. He is or was in the university now. He has been doing or used doing his bachelors in economics and sociology. His parents have been asking or asking him to pursue law, but he has been thinking of becoming a journalist. Come on, learners try and Kriti is going to attempt it. Come on, do it. Yeah. Sure, sir. <laughs> Jeeva Anand is a student at the university. He studied in a village school. He is in the university college now. He is doing his bachelor's in economics and sociology. His parents have been asking him to pursue law. But he is thinking of becoming a journalist. Fine. Learners, let me read out the passage in an integrated manner for you. Jeeva Anand is a student at the university. He studied in a village school. He is in the university college now. He is doing his bachelor's in economics and sociology. His parents have been asking him to pursue law. He is thinking of becoming a journalist. Look at the first sentence, uh, Kriti as well as the learners. Jeeva Anand is a student. Now he is. What he, he is? is? Yes. Then, where did he study? He started in a village school. Oh, so it's past, long it's past. past. It's over. Yes. Now, what is, where is he now? He is in a university college now. Now, I mean, he, what he is now? Now look at it. He, what is he doing? Is he is doing his bachelor's in economics and, and sociology. sociology. You can see present, past, present perfect. Many many things are coming. So though we have discussed, learnt time and tense in isolation to some extent in context, but when you speak, read, write in natural context, many many times many contexts will appear. So it will be integrated. The last two sentences are important for us. Why? Because they are in present perfect continuous. His parents have been asking him to pursue law, but he has been thinking of becoming a journalist. So, he started in the past and is still continuous. Fine, fine. That's great. That's great. Learners, let us also know the learning outcomes of this lesson. This will be useful for teachers, parents or anyone who has undergone this lesson and who asked their children, students to undergo the lesson. So, the learning outcomes of these lessons are the learners, you learners would be able to have learned to speak, write grammatically correct sentences, expressions for a variety of purposes. It is not that just uh, we are talking some sentences. They, you should be able to use it using noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, determiners, time and tense, grammatically correct form. Okay. Let me also ask Kirti to read again. So sure, that, sir. Mm, yes, please. Learning outcomes of this lessons. Learners speak and write grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations using noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, determiners, tenses and its forms. Now, learners, we have learnt in this lesson, present perfect continuous. Kriti, we have come to the close of this particular lesson, present perfect continuous. We started with the objectives, activities, then we spelt out at last, we informed the learners, teachers, parents, the learning outcomes also. That is great. Learners, when you read something now, when you come across some such usages, just notice it, that is all, and use it in, in real life context. I have been studying in this school since last five years, six years. My friend has been studying at the university for long, five years. For the past six years, since independence, since long time. So, we use present perfect continuous for that. So, learners, we hope that you have learnt. Kriti, uh, we thank the learners for their uh, participation in all the activities and thank you very much. Thank you.